Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll show you how we got. Hey y'all, Toad here. Welcome to the Toadstead. Well, as you can see, we got a filled in trench and the meter is way down there. Well over 300 feet. And uh, we brought it in and we turned in right around the driveway and then you know we're doing we're doing water here for more than just the house uh, trying to trying to get a lot done for now and in the future you see Scooter out there is having a good time playing on the ditcher <laughs> anyway just to the right of him that little bitty pine tree is the end of the water line right about oh there ish and then way over there is the far end uh, I want to be able to have water down down this border for animals someday and I just wanted to have water out the other end just because well I might want water at the other end but this here is the filled in trench you can see to it but the main line comes in right here and I know it might be kind of hard to see, but the point is, right underneath there is the septic tank. And this branch goes up to where you saw me turn the water on the beginning of the video. This is where the construction trailer is going to be, is right here in this area, right in front of Astrozilla. So we had to have water to it via the power pole, which is just fine because someday after this, uh, the construction trailer is gone well won't hurt to have water out there we'll put we'll put a post on it and it'll just have be water for the front yard you know, in this uh, we can barely see it I'll just show you that's the four inch sewer line and this was the booger that made us get the big trencher you hear that machine running in the background because well, that's four inch pipe which means being schedule 80, yeah, it's a little overkill, but I got it at a good price. That had to have a much bigger trench than the little four inch one. And we rented the six, and well, if you haven't seen that video already, it's coming out pretty soon. <laughs> but that feeder goes down, ends in the septic tank, and the entrance to the septic tank is right about there. And along this line, there's a part made up to go to the house. This is the building site right here, right in, around, in behind and around this car. So the bottom line is that, you know, getting the water put on site was huge because obviously, you know, that's like the first part of civilization. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, well, Toad, why didn't you drill a well? Well, I, I can only give you 3,500 reasons why. I just can't afford it right now. So going with uh, one of our water co-ops, which are, you know, they're actually pretty cool. I think the, uh, I get 4,000 gallons of water for $17 a month. And one can hardly complain about that. Now understood, something horrible goes wrong, lose power, lose water. Yeah, I'm dependent on the water company. Not a big fan of that. But for right now, it is what it is. But the good news is, is the Toadstead is now ready once uh, another scooter picks up his Bronco and uh, that gets moved. We'll get the construction trailer up here and be starting to spend a lot more time and uh, hopefully I'll be up here full time in about a month month and a half so there we go water in sewer in uh, kid having fun on tractor check no problem I guess we'll have to call this a win thanks y'all see you next time around